She wowed audiences and earned a Tony nomination and a Drama Desk Award for her show-stopping performance in Broadway's hit musical, Jagged Little Pill. So Lauren, first up, congratulations on your first Tony nomination for Jagged Little Pill. How'd you feel when you heard the news? Like, right, oh my God, our our show and, and so many other shows were recognized such a beautiful way too. So it, it certainly is um, hard to take it in most of the time, I think. Yeah, and your first Tony nomination, if you win, where will you put this statue? Oh my God, somewhere my cat won't knock it off, I guess. <laughs> I have some, I'll have to find some kind of high shelf. Now you recently reunited with your Jagged Little Pill family in December. What was that experience like? Oh my God, I mean, nothing, nothing will make you realize how much you you love what you do when you haven't had the chance to do it for, I mean, at that point, I guess it was what, like eight, nine months, something like that. And the things that are just so normalized for us that you kind of take for granted, I mean, just truly being backstage, listening to cues and then going to go on stage, even though there wasn't an audience uh, live, it was all streamed. We did it in a theater and being in a theater again with your castmates, telling a version of this story that we could do in concert form. Um, it was really beautiful and extremely emotional to be able to perform again and and to be a, in communion as a cast and with the creative team again. And then of course it's it's emotional to do that and then not do it the next day. Well, while you've had time away from the stage, you have been back with Blue Bloods. Yeah. Uh, with your recurring role there. Uh, how has that been, you know, back on set during uh, the quarantine? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely uh, very strict. There's a lot of protocols in place, um, constant testing, which is great. It makes you feel very safe, you know. Um, it has felt um, different, certainly, but I think everybody's also just so thrilled to be able to make something and to work. So there's been a lot of joy on that set, too. Yeah. You know, I was happy to learn that when it comes to issues related to Black Lives Matter, that, you know, you walk the walk. Um, and you actually made an accountability pledge to help dismantle systemic racism on Broadway. What would you like to see change in the Broadway community? I think that from what I have been observing and, and listening to the folks that you're talking about, BIPOC and specifically Black artists who are really speaking up right now, it sounds like they're tired of just uh, being listened to and then nothing really changing. So yeah. I really want to see our industry actually see like what is step two, three, four onwards because so many times I feel like we get stuck at that first step. And I think some of what that would look like is, you know, a lot of what we're talking about now is not just seeing BIPOC folks on stage, but behind the scenes. There are many, many people who work in this industry who are not on a stage. Yeah. And um, right now they are overwhelmingly white. And so um, I think that that is a really exciting area of potential change for this industry that I really hope to see is like to actually say, what does it look like if we have that represent our world and our community more, not just the people who are performing on stage? Yeah, you can say that again. I love that. Well, I want to let everybody know that you can keep up with Lauren and all of the incredible projects she's working on at Patton Lauren on Instagram. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me.